it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we're going to take a look in on the worm chow bin. These guys are sticking to their lid, but it is keeping the moisture in, so that'll work. Just make sure nobody gets lost. Alright, so what we've been doing here is worm chow only, and I've been kind of incorporating it into the bedding and the worms and seeing if if these guys actually do um, do better on on a, a diet of you know prepared worm chow as opposed to all of my kitchen scraps so looks like they haven't eaten everything from the last um, time I fed them looks like they're doing a good job on their shirt okay. Just this is a mix of the red wigglers, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers. And they have only been getting the worm chow, which in my case is a third oatmeal and cornmeal and um, wheat flour. And then a generous amount of eggshell, crushed eggshell, in with it. And then they have also been getting um, paper bedding that does not have the grit put in it. So just kind of looking at the worms that I've got here, they they look like my normal size worms, really. Maybe a little bigger. I don't. It's hard to say. But they appear to be doing just fine. Like I think this is a European night crawler. Of course, that could, you know, be a lot bigger. And then you know, obviously compared to the northeast worms, red wigglers, and uh, European night crawlers. I don't know if it's the space or we just haven't hit that threshold yet. You know, maybe it needs to cycle a generation or something. All right. So we'll keep at this uh, worm chow only bin here. I'm going to kind of start, you know, mixing it up so that everything gets to be a good moisture. I'm going to add some new bedding. I mean, it looks like I don't have any paper bedding prepared for them with no grit in it, so I'm just going to give them a little bit of coconut coir. Kind of mix that in. Moisture still feels good. Um, I don't think I need to add any moisture to this. The coconut coir was wet, so I think that'll be fine but I'm going to give them their allotment of food. And I am going to do two projects in one because this one is just, there's just not much to see. But if you guys want to know how it's doing, I just thought I'd bring you around every once in a while, show you what it's doing, how the worms are doing, let you guys comment on it. For those of you that do feed worm chow, all right, I'm going to cover that up, and then I'm going to go get the opposite of this one, which is the no grit bin. Okay, so this is why I suspect I have a critter in the basement. Something has been digging holes. Even though I've been just feeding apple goo, um, it does look like something's been digging in here. This has still got a lot of apple goo. I don't know if I brought you guys with me when I did this last time. I thought just feeding goo would make the critter not want to come and live in here, or, you know, check this out, because it wouldn't have anything to pull out. So maybe it is just looking. I'm not sure. If any of you guys have uh, critters you have to deal with, uh, put the comments below. What do you do about it? I mean, I have traps and stuff like that in the basement. Um, as far as I can tell, my my cats are afraid of vermits, so they're not a lot of help there. Oh, look at all the little baby worms on the on the t-shirt. They're loving that t-shirt for sure. Put that the other side down. All right. So the no grip bin is definitely having babies. We can see that. Now, 
we can get the other critters to stay away from it, then that would be ideal too. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.